A couple of key injuries for the Sounders today. What do you make of the starting 11? Whoa, that's a lot of sound coming in there. But uh, uh, two changes that you said. For Sporting KC, a lot stronger in terms of their starting 11 today. We've got the kinder coming back in. Well, this is the first time they're going to have all three DPs on the field since 2021. Sporting KC against the Seattle Sounders, a rivalry that really picked up an edge back in 2016. And we have the latest edition. It is Sporting KC who kicked things off, attacking from left to right. Sometimes that's without it, just doing some dirty running. In order to allow yourself to have the ability to play, you've got to match that intensity and earn that right first and, and foremost. Rusnak took one right in the chest there. As it's a long-range hit, something we know Sporting KC have been doing this season. Eric Tommy from distance. It was the absence of João Paulo that many felt led to the Sounders ending that streak of playoff positions. Shalloway back to the edge of the box. Gary Kinder inside the area and an opening goal for Sporting KC. Tommy timed his run to perfection. And the issues in front of goal are over for now. And what a perfect start for Peter Vermees' men. 1-0. Again, that dominance in midfield. They win the ball in transition. But at the end of this play, you're going to see the midfield running. Eric Tommy sees an opportunity to get into the box, as well as Gadi Kinda. And it's both players who play a role in finishing off this play. But Daniel Shalley coming on to this right-hand side. And he just does enough to draw out. Jackson Reagan into an awkward position, but when you have those kind of midfield runners, it's so hard to track, and it's such an ask of your defensive midfielder to track those runners. And he felt that was a breakout game for him at SKC early in the season. I just wonder going back to that yellow card for Alex Aldon, though, just the difficulty of being a right back and having to switch, and all of a sudden the reference points are different for you defensively. 100% and now if I'm sporting KC Morris nice touch from him Ladero was there a push in the back Referee says yes free kick sounders It's gonna be yellow card as well For Voltaire Neymar with the clearance Going back towards Russell Coming in again on that left foot it opens up and it's just wide Gadi Kinder, they've gone short, they've caught the sound of snapping here, and the effort on that near post is held at the second attempt by Stefan Fry. Allowed Reed Baker Whiting to get forward too, so let's see how SKC react. It's their fullback getting forward now. Davis. Ball inside for Tommy. Tries to play that ball in behind. Well paced. Chance to go for goal. It's a double. Alan Polito's long wait for a goal is over. And SKC belying the current form and position in the league. You see in the final play, the final result of it here, the finish. But more importantly, it's the timing of that run from Alan Polito because when Eric Tommy gets that ball and he's coming inside, that's the signal for a striker to make that run in the opposite direction because you're coming in off the blind side of a center back, forcing him to have to react to the dangerous position. And a two-goal hole. There, a lovely ball. A bear goes for goal. Melia with the save. <laughs> Chu. A bear. Cross. That's going to come for Reed Baker. Widening. He hits it first time. I wonder if he had enough time to take that extra touch and really set himself. Will that provide a different look and a different threat for them in the second half? They'll surely be hoping so. It is Sanders who kick things off to get the second half underway. Attacking, well, hoping to attack a lot more than they did in the first half from left to right. Johnny Russell again whipping that one in. Fry with the punch clear. And as far as Nkembe, good cross in the header, off target. Rebecca Whiting, and indecision, Shalloway, trying to punish the youngster. Could have gone back for, oh, the ball hit just over in the end. Right at the edge of the penalty area. Voltaire coming forward from holding midfield. Freddy Montero will chip delivery towards the far post and Marcelo well defended. Vargas. Uh, Freddy Montero goes down and the referee's going to give a penalty. Indembe made the challenge. Freddy Montero, the master. Maybe it's just handed the sound as a lifeline. It's the hand to the face there from Indembe. And I'm not sure he has much that he can really complain about there. Nico Ladero. Without a goal in Major League Soccer so far this season. Not anymore. Sends Melia the wrong way. 
And he has the Sounders right back in this one. Freddie Montero, the extended arm there from Ndembe, catches him in the face. And we've seen over the years how important Nico Ladero is to this side and them being successful. It takes 11 games, but he gets on the score sheet, calm, composed, and well taken. Yeah, you didn't get not near to Maybe I did. I got a short term memory, you know? <laughs> Who knows? Rose not getting behind. Oh. Two at the far post. Morris! What a run! Just went! And he's appealing for a penalty. All right, so done. Nice ball for Ebert. Jordan Morris, a little bit of space against Davis. It's going to be an interesting battle. Morris on his left foot, and Melia just about gets it over. Almost looked like the goalkeeper was going to throw it into his own net there. Yeah, that was an awkward one. But it's, it's that change, switching the field, that change of point of attack. And this is what they love to see. Jordan Morris with space. Alex Holdan, a lucky man to still be on the field. It's a lovely return, and the shot just wide. Well, can you imagine the press conference afterwards with Peter Vermees if it was Alex Roldan who scored the level of late? Diego Jota scored the goal, but Alex Roldan just coming on his left foot, just sees a little bit of space. Maybe one of the candidates for man of the match, and Russell in no hurry at all. Although now he is, plays the ball central. Touch from Espinosa, could go for goal, could kill it, could back in his left foot. What a save. Challenge being won there. That's what opens up this whole play. Johnny Russell's first instinct is to go to the corner flag, kill this game off, but he sees the experience. Nico Ladero whipped in, not a good delivery. Headed clear, and that will be the final action at Lumen Field. The long wait for a first win is over for Sporting KC. The bench hugs, and almost a sigh of relief from Peter Vermees. Your thoughts on the performance today, Mike?